I only know about this because um I forget how I was asking about it. I had at one point I had to get like six inches of my intestines removed, but it was for something else. Um, and then they told me about like other reasons they sometimes give the same surgery, and like that was one of them. I was like dropping this information. I've said that before. Well, about the like about like the I've said before about me getting my six inches of my intestines removed. Six inches is one in centimeters. Ah, how many centimeters are in a foot? Oh, so like 15 centimeters I had to get removed. Any improvements since then? Oh yeah, this is a while ago. This was in like high school. Cause my intestines were like double the size. My long intestine were like double the size of the average person, like in length. So it was causing issues. Like imagine having a period cramp, but like chronically and like it never goes away. That's what I had. So because there wasn't enough space for my organs. So they had to remove it so that there was more space. And so I didn't have all that pain. That's why I say I can probably handle like period cramp simulators, man. Cause like I've already experienced that. <laughs> The pain go away? Oh yeah, it's gone now. But I had it for like the first like fucking like 16 years of my life or some shit. Well, like I said, it wasn't bad when I was young. The older I got, the worse it got. A lot of like my uh, anatomical problems, like the older I got, the worse they got. Because when you grow, like when you develop improperly, like I said, like it's fine when you're younger, but when you start to grow into your body, that's when like there's conflicts. No, are women for real? I know. I low-key don't know if that's worse than period pain or not. I feel like it probably is. I'm not going to lie. Well, I think period pain can pay. If you have like endometriosis, like your period pain is pretty bad. It was pretty bad though. Whatever though. We chilling now. That's not a period. I don't know. All I'm saying is like, it wasn't a once, it wasn't a week out of the month kind of deal. It was like a every day. I was getting very tired of it. But I also low-key thought it was normal. <laughs> I have this problem, but like I'll think shit is normal for a while because I've had it for like my whole life. And then I'll find out that it's like very abnormal. And then they're like, oh, this is very bad. And I was like, oh, word, we can fix it. And I was like, oh, word. Oh, I don't know. That's happened to me with like four different things, man. I'm not gonna lie. Gaslighting yourself. Bro, I just dead thought like I really just thought I was just like gassy all the time. You know, I thought I just had like IBS or something. Just thought I had IBS. That's why I was on all those meds at one point that would make me like, like have the auto shit side effect because they thought it was like that. And then they're like, let us look. And then they're like, oh, it is not that. Your organ is double the size of the average person. Chat, if you don't know, just in case, you should not feel constant pain in your body. Okay, yeah, partially because growing up, every time I would complain about pain, people would be like, oh, that's normal. Low key, that happened a lot growing up. Also, like, you don't really know what's abnormal when you've only ever experienced abnormality, man. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I've always had the issue. So I didn't really know what normal felt like. So I was just like, oh, this is just an everyday thing.